Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Astroneer with your friend Kuros Paladin. Hello! So, uh, in our last episode, we had started playing with the automation, or, you know, sort of automation, the uh, extractor unit, and then playing with the auto arm. I didn't have to use the auto arm to fill the canister. Yes, the canister can just go on top of the uh, extractor. The point was I wanted to show off the auto arm and the extractor in a, at one time type thing. So thank you for the people that pointed that out. But yes, I was aware of it. I, I thought I mentioned it, but I didn't. I'm sorry. But yeah, I just wanted to show, hey, you know, this is kind of cool. This auto arm thing is really cool how it just kind of, you know, plucks stuff off of there. Uh, also look for, I put together a video that I'm probably going to put up right after this one uh, where I have a in creative mode I created this docking station I can just pull a truck right up to uh, a docking station and then three auto arms just grab everything off the truck and send it into a sorting facility it works out really good there's a couple of little bugs and tweaks that need to happen but it's really cool and I'm gonna put that up but that was all in creative mode and here in this particular save, we do things seriously, right? We, we do it in full full uh, uh, survival mode, as they say. Uh, what I've done between episodes here, off camera, I suppose, is I packed up my graphite uh, extractor that was over here. Um, I got 64 graphite out of it, so I'm happy for gra with graphite for a while. I got two of these canisters full of graphite, so I'm happy. Um... What I uh, also had last episode is I put down an ammonium extractor. It's over here. It has filled up, but I'm not going to go over there. Instead, what I'm going to do is I want to get hematite because iron is in big demand as well. And I have no iron. So I've packed up. There's my extractor. I have the platform. I have the auto arm. I have a canister. I have two RTGs. And I did not realize, I don't know why, but you can fork or branch these sensors. I didn't realize that. So I only need one per storage container. You know, you live, you learn. You figure things out as you play the game. Um, so anyhow, what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off to... I've got enough fuel to get all the way around the uh, solar system. I am going to head off to two places. I'm going to make a stop at Calador. I'm going to pick up, I hope, I'm going to pick up my drill bits. My drill bit and my uh, paver that I left at Calador. I don't remember where on Calador I left it, but I'm pretty certain it was at the last gateway that I powered up to. After I pick those up and come back, then I'm going to head over to Glacio and pick up our find a deposit of hematite and set up the auto extractor on it. So let's go ahead. We're going to set head to Calador. Now, I may uh, cut this out because it's boring. Um, you know, going back to Calador, I already did a lot of stuff off camera so you didn't have to see it um you know actually i'm gonna no i do the reason i want to do this is i want the uh i want the paver in the drill bit because i'm gonna very likely need them on glacial that's why i need to do it first um i don't know how far i will have to travel to get um a good deposit. Oh, look at that. I can even see the green that I put down. Isn't that cool? It looks like Australia, doesn't it? <laughs> Anyhow. Um, so I'm really hoping... Oh, no, I left them... Oh, oh, that's good. I don't even have to wander. They're right there. Oh, that's so cool. This will be really fast. Okay. Let's just run over here. Let's just grab those. So, yoink. And I left space specific... Oops. Specifically for them. And, come on. Yoink. Put that there. Excellent. All right, let's hop back in our shuttle. Saying thank you, Calador. We're back off on the road, and we're heading on the road to Glacio. I'm certain I have a large rover there. I know I keep saying, uh, you know, I think I have a large rover everywhere. At this point, I think I do. Okay. So we have to wait for our landing site to come into uh come Okay, th would this be considered the horizon? 
We're not on the planet, so is it the horizon? I don't know what you would call it. I'm pretty certain I left a beacon there, though. And I know a couple episodes ago, I was talking about how I was certain I left platforms in the uh, cores so that I knew where to go. And yeah, I did find a platform on, I forgot where it was, um, that had six organic on it or whatever. Um, I guess I just didn't do it at all of them. All right, we're landing, and yep, there's a large rover. Excellent. So all I have to do, hopefully, I ha a, hopefully I have the space for all this. Okay, let's move you over. Okay. This base is pretty darn pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. It's kind of sad. Um, let's go ahead. We're going to put that there. We're going to put you on the front. Oh, no. No, can't do that. We're going to put you on the back. And then we're going to put this medium storage. Um, so take you, you put, put you there, take our horn. Okay, we're going to take this, put it over here, come on, there we go. And then our drill and our paver, so that if we have difficult terrain, we can get through it. But you know what I just realized I don't have? I don't have a soil canister. Dang it. So the paver won't be very handy. I'll just have to drill my way through everything. Okay. All right, hopefully I don't have to go very far to find a nice deposit of hematite. I mean, generally you can't go very far on Glacio without tripping over hematite. Now I have built out this way. Um... I'm certain there was hematite out here. I want to find a uh, virgin deposit, one that I haven't spoiled yet. And there we go. I may have cut through the edge of that one, but I think that looks really good. And there's another one right over here, too. So, okay. Excellent. Did not have to go very far whatsoever. Yep, I did get into this a little bit, but you know what? We're going to use this one. So, oh. Okay. So let's go ahead. We are going to set up first our extractor. Boom. Whoa. Oh, oh and look at that. Wow. I don't know if I've ever seen uh, the indicators that high. Look at that. Wow. There's a lot of hematite here. Oh, look at that. I think that's actually 100%. Wow. Okay. I don't know what that means. 400? What does that really mean? But anyhow. Okay, we are going to need the canister, so let's attach that, unpack it. So I'm not going to use the, uh, I am not going to use the auto arm, but I still do need the platform for the RTGs. I have to power this thing, of course. So we'll set that down, connect that up. Let's go ahead. One, two, RTG, RTG has enough power. Let's go ahead, before I forget, let's go uh, attach our uh, sensor. And then I'm going to use my beacon from the vehicle because I forgot to bring a second one. So I did not realize you could do this. And if I had just been paying attention, I would have seen it. So what you can do is you come down here, you put F to like put a node or whatever you want to call it, create a new segment, and then attach the endpoint, okay, to that. Boom, it'll shut that off. And then from here, I can hit F again and branch and go off to that. So I only needed one. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And we are going to have... This uh, might actually be worth getting a large container. And then that's where the auto arm would come in, because then the auto arm would sit here. I'd put these to either side. Uh, well, shoot, no, I couldn't, because the auto arm wouldn't fit anywhere. I'd have to have another platform. But anyhow, we've got that going. I don't know if I'll be able to see that beacon from my base, because the mountain or hill here may be in the way. 
you could just carve a slice right through the mountains that we can see. But since I didn't see that beacon, chances are I'm not going to see the that uh, the other beacon. So I have to check on it once in a while. But I'm not going to hang out here on Glacio, because the only thing that is useful here at the moment would be the iron. Um, however, while I am here, I could um, stock up on a little bit of research, because underground harvestable research on Glacio is amazing. So let's just go and see what I can find really quick. Um, how did I get down here? Oh, it's over here. Okay. So, I mean, watch this. It's like 350 each. Boom. Three, 332. Boom. 365. That right there. So, uh, what was that? Uh, 600 and almost 700 right there. 335 and 365? Yeah, that's 700. So just follow my tether line for a little bit, see what I can find in the way of some research. Got to watch for the little things off to the sides. I have, uh, I actually have three saves going in Astroneer right now that are non-creative. And in one of them, I have a perfect little circular path underground on Glacio that goes past close to 30 of these things. I can just stock up on close to 1,200, um, 12,000, I'm sorry, research by just making one circuit of this thing. Um, and then here I have what looks like I've taken up some titanite, but maybe in the future I could set down an extractor here. Um, extractors are expensive to build, they're expensive to power, if you want to give them enough power. Two RTGs seems to do it perfect. Well, even with a little bit of overkill. So if you got an auto arm in that equation, it'll power the auto arm as well because they do constantly draw power. Not a lot, but they do draw power. Um, but I suppose what I could do is just kind of waste time here on Glacia while that uh, hematite canister fills. Um, actually, I could also, since it's so darn easy, I oh I don't have a I don't have a chemistry lab here though I don't think I have a chemistry lab. When I get back up above, I have to look to see if I have one. If I do, I can make some plastic, and then I can make another canister. But I don't remember if I actually have up there. Well, listen, <laughs> I must be under it. Listen. Boom. Yep, there it is. Okay. Took a little longer than I anticipated, but... Alright. Look around here. See if there's anything I can sniff for research. But I don't want to lose sight of my tethers. I get lost underground so easily in this game. I depend on tethers to get back. Oh, look at this. I, I saw this earlier. Whoa! <laughs> we didn't finish the freeway. There's a small gap ahead. <laughs> Good thing we were, weren't doing, uh, what was it, 50 miles? Or how fast did the bus have to go? Um, a slight gap in the freeway. Okay. So it is probably only at about seven or eight at the moment. Grab some more research here. Oh, under the gateway chamber or near it. Okay, my tether lines are over there. Can I go around this without getting lost? This is how I get lost. I go around one of these things and then I just completely lose my bearings. Yeah, so I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get lost. Okay, I think all I had up above is a smelter. 
Um, although, if I have hematite, which I do, iron, I think, is what I need for the chemistry lab, right? Chemistry lab. Where are you? Chemistry lab. Ceramic, glass, and tung... Oh! I don't have tungsten. Damn. Okay. Darn it. So iron must be the atmospheric condenser then. Yeah, okay. I have a paw fighting with me. So, yeah, sadly all I have up here is a smelter. Okay, so... Darn, I can't even print... Um, I can't get a soil canister since I don't have plastic. Or not a soil canister, a uh, resource canister. Okay. Um, that is not going to be full, I can guarantee. Let's see, can I at least... Oh, I can barely make it out. Oh! I can see it right through there, but the sun is obscuring it, but I'm almost certain it is not full at the moment. Okay. Uh, what do I want to do while I'm waiting for that, then? I mean, what else can I do over here? I suppose I could wander around and, uh... Hmm, I don't have enough RTGs to power gateways. I... Really, I just... Unfortunately, I just have to sit here and wait. Oh, there's where the beacon went. Derp. Okay. I like to put a beacon on my vehicles. Especially the large rovers. Um, I can't tell you how many times in the past that I lost the rover. And if I had just had a beacon on it, I could find it. So I always put a beacon on my rovers. So I can always get back to them. And I'm really curious, folks, if you've done anything with automation, let me know what you've done below. If you have something you'd like to share, let me know. I'm not, I don't want to steal your ideas. I'm just curious what people have done. Um, you know, there's so many creative things that can be done. Um, I'm really kind of proud of my sorting facility that I created that, uh, really you just pull up the truck and there are three auto arms positioned almost perfectly. You hit one button, all three of them turn on. They just grab everything off the truck um, as best as they can. And uh, just send it down this line. Stuff that needs to be smelted is smelted, and then it's passed on after that to sorting containers. Obviously, it was... Oh, not obviously. You will see, obviously. It was in creative mode. So uh, it was something around 24 or some odd number. I mean, a large number of the large storage canisters, which in a real game would be a heck of a lot of nanocarbon alloy, because each of them are, I think it's two iron, one nanocarbon, and uh, I can't remember now, a rubber or a glass, I can't remember. But it's just, they're really expensive. And in a real game, by the time you can build 30 of the things, what I've done, Aside from exploration, what more are you going to do? Why are you going to be collecting more? I guess you know, if you just enjoy collecting and having the resources. But it's still a lot of fun. What I really would love to do, but it's not quite there yet, is somehow have that remote extractor that I set up over here. Um, somehow send... There we go, it's still purple. Um, somehow be able to send those resources all the way back here. As opposed to me having to go out there without having to set up about, you know, 30 or 40 auto arms in a chain. That may may show up eventually. Um, something else that would be nice uh, is the large canisters and the, the storage canisters for resources. If you could set a filter without having to put something in them, because it gets a little frustrating when you set one to empty or you take the last one out of it, and then it just starts sucking in other resources on the platform that you didn't intend it to. It'd be kind of nice if you could set a, a filter somehow other than just putting um, a resource in it that one has to live in there constantly. And then finally, another thing that would be nice if possible is a little bit more fun uh, gray area with the filters. Like, hey, only pick up uh, 
uh, refined or uh, uh, only pick up ores, rare, uh, unrefined ores. So only pick up my malachite, my uh, sphalerite, my laterite, um, titanite, hematite. Just pick up all of those and let everything, don't pick up the others. And uh, then all your composite materials, similar thing, and uh, all your, something along those, that line would be nice. I'm sure they'll probably get there. So, all right, uh, enough about that. I mean, this is going to take a little while. I don't want to waste the whole episode just waiting for this, though. Oh, I can even see it over top of the mountain. Okay. There it is. I see you. Hey, hello. Hi. Okay. I suppose what I could do whilst waiting is look for some more of these uh, exodynamic uh, research aids and unlock them. I don't know if one RTG will be enough. I guess that's something I can do while I'm waiting. In fact, there's, is that an energy one right there, or is that something else? Uh, that uh, is an energy one. Okay. So I don't have the paver, so I have to get out to that. Whoa. Didn't want to do that. Actually, let's just bring it down to me. Ha! Ah, I love it. Okay. Oh, but now I have to get a little closer. Okay. Drop that back there, drop that back there. Let's see if this is an, if one RTG is enough. Uh yeah it is. It's very slow. Very slow. Okay, there we go. So, eh, it's an okay one. It's not one of the really great ones, but it's it's research. Unfortunately, oh, I do have space for two more such items. Okay. That's wonder. I still see purple over there. Okay, that that beacon is a lot taller than I thought, or higher up, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. I'm just gonna follow my road. And I think this direction, I do have the bugged, um, whatchamacall, gateway chamber, where there's two stuck on top of each other. Um, there's a research right there. Sure, let's just grab that one. Yoink. Alright, I have room for one more. There's, okay, is that a power or is that want a resource? Uh, I can't, I cannot tell from here. Uh, it wants ammonium. I'm almost positive that's an ammonium. Which, believe it or not, I think I passed right back here. Although there were a couple cataplants, so I gotta watch out for those. Okay, this is a lot further back than I thought. Much further back than I thought. Alright, let's... Don't want to suffocate. Because suffocating is bad. And then I have to get all the way back to here. Alright, I'm certain I pa passed a tiny patch of uh, uh, ammonium. And perhaps there'll be enough to get one nugget. And it was back here by these cataplants, I think. 
Mm. Nope. Okay. Oh, there's a virgin patch of a uh, hematite. Huh. Okay, well, I must have been seeing things then. It's not unusual. I was certain I saw just a tiny bit of uh, ammonium over here on the right as I was driving along. Alright, well, let's just say enough about that and continue on. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, that's a dead astroneer. Or at least his backpack. He can't have dead astroneers anymore. It's too... It's too sad, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we go. What's this one want? Also wants... Ammonium. I'm pretty certain that's ammonium. Let's see. Resources. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yep, ammonium. That's right there. <laughs> it's like the first one. Okay. Um, so I have two of these if I can find ammonium. Oh, there it is right there. Hey! All right. Okay, let's see if I can get two nuggets of ammonium. Oh, definitely. One, two. There we go. Let's just load up on ammonia. Three. The irony is, you know, I'm collecting a whole bunch of it back on a different planet. Can I get one more? Just one more. Oh, that's resin. There we go. Okay. What is in the box? Let's find out. Oh, okay. These ones are okay. They're not great research. So, Chris, now it's right in the middle. Why can we not pick those up? Come on, System Era. Boom. I can bump them out of the way, but I can't pick them up. Let's push you out of the way. So we're just going to bulldoze, basically, push there. Okay. All right, let's head back. Perhaps, maybe. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. It's full by now. It's about one minute per uh, nugget, from what I recall. I didn't really do a large amount of research on that though so oh there's even another one way over there all right all right I'm pretty certain these are worth more than this so you're pretty we'll leave you right here and then hopefully one day we'll come back and get you Okay. Uh, that's still... Oh, that's my blue beacon, though. <laughs> Actually, this trio of cataplants. They're just making me nervous. There we go, okay. Plenty of research under those, too. I should have realized that. Okay, one, two, three. 
I have had them attack me while in a vehicle, but this was on a dedicated server. So I'm wondering if they've changed the behavior slightly or if it's just an unexpected um, side effect on dedicated servers. But I never had the plants attack you while you were in a vehicle until dedicated servers. All right, and of course the sun is just behind, so I cannot see what's going on there. Um, I have these research. But nowhere to research them. I don't even have a research chamber on this planet. What is it? Two resin, one... One compound, one resin, two compound. You know what? Being that this is Glacio, I'll bet you that will take me 20 minutes just to find that, won't it? Let's take a look. I can't tell what color that is. Let's just go over there. I should have brought a second canister. Actually, I could just head back to Silva and bring one. In fact, oh, okay, that's still purple. Too much stuff, I can't carry it all. Let me put that up there for right now, because I'm not close enough. Okay. One. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to... Eh. I don't want to deal with it. Let's just go check on it. I can't even tell if that's purple or red with the way the sun is behind it. Oh, that's definitely purple. Okay. Thump. Where are we at? 25 or 32. Okay. Thump. Man, look at that. That is just full to the brim. Man, I'll get enough hematite out of this to last me for quite some time, I think. Okay. Uh, da, da, da. I don't know if I want to hang out here for the remainder of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stand around waiting for this, but I'm not going to make you guys wait for it. I'm just going to fast forward through it. So see ya in just a few moments, folks, as we just kind of stand here and wait. So, all right, let me just get near some oxygen so my little guy doesn't suffocate. Because suffocating is bad. Okay. All right, everybody. Come on, get a little closer there. A little bit closer now. All right. See you in a few moments, folks. Okay, well, I'm pretty certain it should be filling up any on the next thump, and then the next pull here. And while I was doing this, I watched, and it is 55 seconds per nugget. There, it just turned itself off. 
Okay, so we now have 32... Um, oh, oh, 32 because this one is here. That's another little bug that I've just, I've not, maybe not discovered, but I've noticed. So let's go ahead, we're going to take that off of there, we're going to put it right there. Let's go ahead, we're going to put the canister here. We're going to enable in, yeah, okay. Let's grab you, we're going to take you, we're going to take you back. And we have our 32 hematite. Now if I had another canister, I'd just leave the canister and let this thing go. But I don't have another canister. So folks, I hope that you've had a great time watching the episode. Yeah, I know, it was just me going to Glacio and setting up an extractor and a lot of fast forwarding. But, um, what I want to do is I want to start getting some extractors around on various planets um, and move them around because, oh, 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 uh-oh. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I <laughs> can't even move. Nope, stuck. All right, let's see how well this works. Okay, he was able to jump out without dying. Um, so how do I get this thing unstuck from here? There we go. Come on. And there it goes. Oh, can I... Okay, let's see what happens. Flip and stuck again. This is how I lose vehicles. Right here. Okay. Because then they'll go flying off into the into orbit or something sometimes when I'm removing them. Okay. Can I get out of this mess? Flip. I have the drill, I just want to get set up where I'm aiming in a direction that I can get out of here. There we go, okay. Hup. Whoa! Oh, we hit a spike. A leg spike. Uh, okay. Everybody, <laughs> I guess this was not necessary. We'll end on that little note there. So everybody... Take care, and I will see all of you in the next episode of Astro Near. I just want to get my little guy out of the vehicle. Actually, we can even do this. We can have him turn around, and he can even wave by from inside the seat. So, bye, everybody!